All right, so we are going to be looking at the quotient property of exponents. This is where we will be dividing powers with the same base. Let's start out by going back over what a power is. So if we have b to the x, that means we have x factors of b. Another way of saying that is that this x, this exponent is telling you how many b's you are having and they're being multiplied. All right, quick example here, 4 to the fifth power over or divided by 4 to the third power. So again, using our definition of exponents, that's we're gonna have five fours being multiplied in the numerator. So there's a four times another four times a third four times a fourth four, and there's the fifth four being multiplied there. And then in the denominator, we're gonna have three fours being multiplied. There's a four, two, there's three fours being multiplied there. Now we're gonna look at reducing or canceling. We're gonna be removing common factors from both the numerator and denominator. So we have a pair of common factors here, pair of fours. So those are gonna be removed or canceled. Another pair of common factors and a third pair of common factors that we are removing, leaving us with two fours being multiplied together. So again, that's, we have two fours, two fours still being multiplied there. The rest were removed or canceled or whatever you're thinking of there. Now we are thinking here, we have the five, we have the three. We're thinking five minus three does equal two in this case here, because we're removing three factors of four or canceling out three of the fours there. So that does lead us to our property. So in words, when we divide powers with the same base, we are going to subtract their exponents. In numbers, it's going to look like this, and it's the example we just did. 4 to the 5th divided by 4 to the 3rd is going to equal 4 to the 5 minus 3, and so that's going to be 4 to the 2nd power, or 4 squared. Now, if you're just using algebraic symbols, b to the m over b to the n, the base is going to be b, and then we're going to subtract the exponent, so b to the m minus n. Another example here, b to the 53rd power over or divided by b to the 42nd power. So we know the base is going to be b, so it's going to be b to the sum power there, and we are going to be subtracting those exponents. 53 minus 42 makes 11, so b to the 11th power is the simplified way of looking at this expression here. Last example, 24x to the 9th power divided by or over 8x to the 4th power. Now to start out with, we are going to break this up into two smaller questions. Let's look at the numbers first. We got a 24 and an 8, and what operation are we doing? We are doing division. So we're going to do 24 divided by 8, and that's going to make 3. After we have the number part of this expression, simplified, canceled, reduced, now we'll look at the variable part. That's going to be x to the ninth over x to the fourth. Now again, that's going to be x to some power. And the way that we find that power when we are dividing with uh, exponents, that's going to be subtract those exponents. So we're going to do 9 minus 4, and that's going to make x to the fifth power. So simplified out, 3x to the fifth power. So again, whenever you're dividing exponents with powers with the same base, we're going to subtract those exponents there. So I hope this helped out. I hope you have a great day, rest of your day or evening or whatever time you might be watching this.